My name is Allison Kaplan. I'm Director of Education here at the National First Ladies Library. Today we're going to present one of our programs that we usually do in person here called ABCs with the First Lady. And today our First Lady is Lady Bird Johnson. Now, was her real name Lady Bird? No, when she was born her name was Claudia. But one of the women who helped take care of her said, you are as pretty as a ladybird. And it stuck. So that was the name she went by. And I even wore birds in honor of ladybird today. Supposedly the ladybird was a beetle though. It was like a bug that kind of looks like a ladybug. So her real name was Claudia. She lived from 1912 to 2007. And we're talking about her today because she helped to pass some legislation that helped clean up the earth. So we're going to put her in our garden today as we talk about her. So she helped pass the Highway Beautification Act. So here she is with her husband, who was the president, Lyndon Johnson, and she helped pass that act in 1965. And they even called it the Lady Bird Bill. Um, and what it did was help to clean up the highways. And at the time, this is what the highways looked like. So they were full of old junkyards and cars on the side of the road and even more billboards than you see today. Here's a view of a car broken down by the ocean that you can see. And she really felt that kids and people should have access to beauty in their everyday lives. She even says, it is important for a child to plant a seed, to water it, nourish it, tend to it, watch it grow. And when he does and when she does, they themselves will grow into great citizens. So here she is in her field of wildflowers. So in honor of Lady Bird, today we're gonna read a story called Green Green, a community gardening story. It's by Marie Lamba and Velda Lamba, and the pictures are by Sonia Sanchez. And you can see the little girl on the cover here. She's got her wheelbarrow full of plants, and she's planting out in the community. So are you ready to read? Green, green, fresh and clean. And here are the kids out in a big field of wildflowers. Oh, and maybe even butterflies. They look like flowers to me, but I think they're butterflies. Brown, brown, dig in the ground. And here they are digging in the ground and planting flowers and playing outside. Do you like to play outside in the dirt? Rakes scrape, seeds in rows, tamp and water, the garden grows. Brown, brown, dig in the ground. And you can see the diggers out here. And here we are in the city. Dozers lift, concrete flows. Stone and metal, the city grows. So there are lots of buildings and these brownstone apartment buildings next to each other and a lot of concrete up and grows. So here they are on the roof of their building and it looks like their family is growing too because this mom looks like she has a baby in her belly. So there's a lot of growing going on in this story. Grow green in between. So in between those buildings that are next to each other and brick and concrete, there's a lot of stuff growing. Can you see it? Can you find the green? Squirrel gray, pigeon blue, wheels and wildflowers glitter too. So just like Ladybird was cleaning things up, there's a lot of garbage in this city. Lots of stuff that needs cleaned up behind this big fence. Brown, brown, dig in the ground. So what do you think they're going to do next? Do you think they're going to dig in the ground here and clean it up? Oh, they are. Brown, brown, dig in the ground. Oh, they look like they're working really hard too. They're making faces about how hard they're working and maybe the garbage is kind of smelly too. 
Lift and clear, shovel rows. Working together, our garden grows. And grows. So lots of beautiful flowers are growing. And grows. Even more flowers are taking over all of the concrete and the brick in the city. Green, green, keep it clean. And the families who live in the city are working really hard to take care and keep their space clean. Look, that bathtub that was full of garbage is now even full of flowers. How cool. The end. So that's our story today, Green Green. And we're going to look at some other kids that are working to make the world a cleaner place. So here they are. Greta Thunberg is one. She's probably the most famous. So she's an activist from Sweden. She's 17 and she is working to fight climate change. And she's working with other kids to go on strike from school on Fridays and talk about climate change with adults in the world. So inspired by Greta are kids like Lily Platt. Lily Platt is from the Netherlands and she is 11. She started a group called Lily's Plastic Pickup, and you can follow her online. And these kids are 15 and 13. Their names are Amy and Alma Meek, and they live in the UK, and they started a group called Kids Against Plastic. So just like Ladybird, a lot of these kids are cleaning up the, the plastic and the garbage and the environment around them and keeping the earth nice and green. So what are you doing in your world to keep things green? Let me know, write to me and tell me. Thanks so much for tuning in.